This is ANN News Brief. The death toll from a ship carrying migrants the sank off the Tunisian coast last weekend has risen to 58. Tunisian Red Crescent says it recovered 38 bodies on Thursday. The boat had capsized after setting off for Europe from neighboring Libya. More than 80 African migrants in total are feared to have drowned in the incident in what would be one of the worst migrant boat disasters. UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres has called on the international community on Thursday to provide more aid to Mozambique, where two cyclones caused by climate change killed hundreds and brought widespread destruction earlier this year. Cyclone Idai crashed into Mozambique central region Beira in March, prompting devastating floods in one of the worst weather-related disasters to hit the southern hemisphere. Just six weeks apart, Cyclone Kenneth struck five million cities and villages. Guterres said to reporters after meeting Mozambique's president, Felipe Nyusi, in the capital Maputo on Thursday, the cyclones were a consequence of climate change. He added that the United Nations would help Mozambique prevent young people from becoming radicalized, including by providing experts to support the country in communicating with disenfranchised groups. An emergency UN appeal for Mozambique following the IDAI received less than half of the $282 million requested. Cyclone IDAI wreaked havoc in the city of Beira, home to some 500,000 people, as well as in the surrounding districts of Manica and Sofala, where it has destroyed the lives and livelihood of, um, livelihood rather, of hundreds of thousands more people. Climate change is expected to see the country increasingly exposed to such extreme weather. Stay with us, we'll be back after this, after this message. Whether in your house, at your office, on your phone or online, we are there. We have the facts behind the headlines. We cut to the chase with the news you really need. We cover every angle. We are the bigger, better news network. We are African News Network, ANN. Watch ANN News on MITV from a truly African spirit. At least three persons were killed and 15 wounded when a car bomb hit a funeral of funer um, former senior military commander in Benghazi, East Libyan city. Medical and military sources said the current head of the special forces, one is Bakamada, was attending the funeral but was unharmed. Since 2014, Libya has been divided between rival political and military factions based in Tripoli and the East. Meanwhile, the UN's refugee agency, UNHCR, and the International Organization for Migration, IOM, have called on the Libyan authorities to free migrants and refugees held in detention camps in the country. They also want the European Union to restart coordinated naval patrols in the Mediterranean to rescue migrants. They said in a joint statement, support for the Libyan Coast Guard should be made conditional on it not returning any rescued migrants to Libyan ports. General Khalifa Haftar and his forces have been waging an offensive since April to try to take the UN-backed government based in the capital, Tripoli. That's the NN News Brief. For details on these and other breaking stories, visit our website, nnafrica.news. Conversation continues on our social media platforms, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at NN Africa TV. I'm Lucy Ademi.